Hello, my pro banditos, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took down the Sir Chester Gym, and we obtained our sixth badge here in the Galar region. Today, we're going to make our way out of Sir Chester as we are ready to continue on to the next route. We are here on Route 9. I also want to give you guys a very big thank you for all the tips and comments that you guys left me. I actually took care of some of those off screen. Now, the big thing that you guys are going to see is that we now have stripes fully evolved. So in order to evolve your line noon, you have to make sure that it levels up at night. And it has to be nighttime in game. So you have to go to an area where it's going to be nighttime. I went to the wild area. There are a bunch of spaces there that it's nighttime. And I leveled up our Pokemon. So now Stripes is an Obstagoon, a dark normal type. I also taught Stripes the Brick Brick Breakity, Brick 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 Breakity, which is going to be helping us out a lot. You can also see that I've leveled up our other Pokemon. We have Raven at 44, we have Bugs at 46, we have Pegasus at 42, Magenta at 42, and the Rock is at level 34 as well. Now we're here on Route 9, and I hope you guys are ready, as we're going to have some battles coming up. There we go guys, so another good reason to get into those battles is that the rock is now evolving. The rock tried to evolve earlier but I stopped it, so now it is time for us to get our final evolution on the rock. Congratulations, the rock evolved into Colossal. We now have a Colossal on our team and this is the Pokemon that I've been waiting for. I'm sure you guys have as well. That is Colossal's data added to the Pokedex. It is the Cole Pokemon, it's a rock fire type. It is 9 feet tall and it weighs 684 pounds. It is huge! While it's engaged in battle, this mountain of coal will burn bright red, sending off sparks that scorch the surrounding area. So there we have it guys! We now have another fully evolved Pokemon and this is a very, very cool one. I'm really glad you guys pointed this one out to me. So Tar Shot. The user pours Sticky Tar over the target, lowering the target speed stat. The target becomes weaker to fire type moves. I think for right now we're going to be good. I like the moves that we have. So we're going to keep on moving. Now you take a look at our team and we are looking very, very strong. Our team is fully evolved, ladies and gentlemen. Every single one of our Pokemon is at their final evolution. This team is going to get us far. I have a really good feeling about it. You guys helped me put this team together. So thank you guys so much for that. Let's keep on going through Route 9 and see what else we're going to be able to find over here. Looks like we're going to have more battles. There's a Jellicent. There's a bunch of Pokemon here. We got ourselves a Max Potion. And I'm going to keep on moving through. I'm feeling pretty good here doing these battles now that our Pokemon are all caught up. We're going to be able to push through this route quite easily now that our Pokemon are all caught up in levels. The last one that we need to catch up is the Rock, and it should be happening very soon. What are they doing to this Dreadnought? There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Moth, and that means we can't let you go on to Route 9! It's Team Yell's duty to cheer on these lovely Dreadnought, and we also get to stop people from heading out over the water! Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can make it so that Rotom bikes can ride on water. Why? We meet again, my young gym challenger friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike. So, do you think you can do me another favor and teach these Rufians a lesson or two? It's all duty to protect Dredno. That means you're gonna need to give up on the gym challenge. You look like you need convincing, so how about a Pokemon battle? Okay. 
I'll send you packing for the sake of Dreadnought, of course. Here we go, Rodri versus Team Yell Grunt. It is time to take on Team Yell once again. And you guys just heard that doctor guy mention that you can ride your bikes on water if they customize them. I wonder if we'll get that. I'm pretty sure we're about to get that here. I'm going to drop the Brick Brick Breakity, Brick 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 Breakity, which is going to be super effective on the line noon. This is really great. I'm really happy that we now have Brick Brick Breakity, Brick 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 Breakity. I have to tell you guys, having a fighting type move is a huge advantage to your team. You can whoop through ice types, dark types. It's just very, very helpful. Now that Stripes is an Obstagoon, I feel like Stripes is going to be one of my favorite Pokemon to use. Let's see who's coming out next. That's going to be a Pangoro, and it is level 40. This is really good for us, though. Considering we're a dark type, we should be handling these Pokemon quite easily. Whatever they're throwing at us isn't going to do all that much damage. As you guys can see, the Crunch did nothing to us. In the meantime, we're out here dropping the Brick Brick Breakity, messing up these dark type Pokemon. So let's go for it once again. Here comes the Bullet Punch. Let's stand up to it. We did stand up to it. It didn't do a whole lot. Here comes the Brick Brick Breakity, Brick 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 Breakity, and the Pangoro is down. That's how it goes. That was an easy fight there, guys. We're going to gain some XP. Stripes grew to 43. We defeated the Team Yell Grunt. I want to go back to Spike Muff. I really do. We got 3,200 for winning. Go! Oh, he's going to ride the Dreadnought. Oh, I've got an idea. We can get on Dreadnought first and ride it away. All right, get a move on Dreadnought. See you later, Gym Challenger. Seems you've come to my aid yet again. How's the cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your Rotom bike on the water too? That's why I'm going to add these special parts allowing you to travel along the water surface just for you. Are you serious? Awesome! So we got the Rotom bike. This bike can be combined with the Pokemon Rotom to not only do a turbo boost but also run on the water. Alright, alright. With a Rotom bike water mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swift Swim. By the by, when you're riding on land, we'll call it land mode. Thanks, dude! Now, we can actually ride our bike on water! Would you look at this? I never thought I would be doing this. This is wild. What Pokemon is that? There are going to be a lot of new Pokemon that we have access to now, since we can actually ride the bike on water. I've been seeing all these different paths that we could take. I could see all these little oceans and rivers, and I never thought we'd be riding on it with a bike. I thought we would get a Pokemon to ride across with, but this is even better. That is going to be a Mantike. So we're going to be seeing a lot of Pokemon here that we know. I'm going to run from it, and I also have a couple repels, so I'm going to use those. I'm just a little intrigued by all the Pokemon that are swimming in the water. Makes me want to take a look around and just see how many we can find here. That's what I've been doing off screen, just kind of exploring a little bit, taking it all in, exploring the wild area, that sort of thing. So I have a better feeling for the game, so that I can share that with you guys. I've been doing a lot of exploring. I'm feeling pretty good about the game right now. I feel like I know a lot more about it. I've been learning about it. I've also just been randomly filling up the Pokedex. If I'm training the Pokemon up for our team, I have to tell you guys that it's really, really good to just catch other Pokemon because you get so much XP, especially if it's a Pokemon you've never added to the Pokedex, Pokemon you haven't caught before, and if it's higher level, around like level 40, level 45, 50, it's going to be a bunch of XP. You're going to be getting like a KXP, which I'd say is definitely worth it, considering it's a little bit hard to train. So we're going to go ahead and get ourselves three dive balls, and it looks like there's a couple here. You guys trying to do like a doubles battle? What do you think about my secret beach? It's a small mysterious paradise located on the very cool ocean. You've come all the way here, so I'll give you a present. We got TM45 Dive! Whoa, that's awesome! I'll take that. The move Dive. Your Pokemon won't be hit by attacks while it's diving in the water. I actually like Dive a lot. That's a very handy move. What about this guy? Nothing? Who just said it's a little bit cold up in here. It is a little bit cold. Rock is 
going to be caught up in levels very soon. We're already almost to having all our Pokemon at level 40, which is going to be really awesome for our adventure. We're already on our way to the 7th badge, and we're around level 40, so I wonder what level the Elite Four are going to be. I'm guessing they're going to be around 60? We'll have to see about that. We defeated the Black Belt, and there's a little camping area over here. Rumor has it that there is a camping king somewhere in the wild area. Have you seen him? He changes the color of your tent and raids your curry decks. Oh, if you're cold and tired, feel free to stay at my camp. Do you guys just hear that? A camp king. I had not heard of that before. We're going to have to take a look around the wild area and see if we can find the camp king. I got us a rare candy, and let's keep on moving through. Looks like there's going to be a lot of new Pokemon here to catch. Whoa! That is awesome. I'm definitely going to have to come back here and catch them, some of them so we can add them to the Pokedex. Let's go ahead and battle this Fisherman. Let's go across the ocean then and keep moving on through here with our water bike. This is awesome. I like this route a lot. It's very different from other routes I've seen in the Pokemon world. Who would have thought you'd be able to ride around on your bike through here? Did we just loop all the way around? You gotta be kidding me if I just looped, right? I might have just looped, guys. I'm telling you. Or we're just going, yeah, we looped. I don't even know where the heck this place is or where this route is going to go. So that is going to be for us to figure out. Let me go this way and then down to the left. Maybe it's to the left where we need to go. This is a huge route. So cut me a break here. I'm not too sure where it is we're going. We're just kind of riding on the water. You'd think you'd be a little bit concerned and a little bit worried if this was you riding around the water. But hey, our trainer is just fine. There are lots of swimmers here. Nothing over here. What is this rock? We found a normal gem. I knew there was going to be something over there. The boulder is just randomly sitting by itself. Let's keep on dodging all these Pokemon then. It was pretty cool to see a wishy-washy here as well. Haven't seen one since the Alola region. Oh, would you look at this? There's a little tree over here and another trainer. My question is, if we're out here in the ice caps, it's a very chilly place, how is this girl out here wearing a bikini? You tell me, how does that make any sense? You'd think you would be covered up. I mean, our character's covered up, we're out here freezing. You guys can tell there's like ice caps, there's glaciers everywhere. She's wearing a bikini? I don't know how that makes any sense, guys. I don't have any idea. Let's keep on going then. We're going to go down to the left. And I feel like we are a bit closer to where we need to go. Got a max elixir as well. And we are on the other side of Route 9 now. And would you look at that? That's a Marini. A bunch of new Pokemon I haven't seen in a little while. But it's cool to see them again. You may also notice that I changed up my character a little bit. I went with the longer medium wavy hair. And then I also bought a brand new jacket while we were in Surchester. The jacket that I have on that you guys can see. This black one with like some gold. 
it was worth like 88,000 polka dollars. So I'd have to say probably one of the more expensive clothing items. I don't know why it was that. Maybe it's just because it looks so nice. I'd have to say that's probably it. Are we going to have a doubles battle coming up? Let's get prepared. We are going to put Pegasus. Yeah, we haven't had Pegasus in a doubles battle just yet. And let's throw the rock in there. Now that the rock is a colossal, I'm sure the rock will be able to handle a lot more. Thanks for the battle, guys. We're just here to shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. All right, we got ourselves a good amount of berries. You know I have to come through here and shake up the berries once in a while, just for fun, just to see what we get. And we have made it to a cave. So I saw that there were people over here this way as well. I can't enter Spike Moth, so I've just been hanging around here this whole time. No one can challenge a dark type leader like this. What's with the gate being shut? How am I supposed to get the gym badge now? Hey, Rodri. Hey, what's up, Marni? What you doing over there, girl? What you been up to? Where'd you go? Marni, what you doing up in here? What is this little creepy area? I was born here, so I know another way in. If you want to get into the town, how about I show you the way? But you're my rival, so you have to beat me in a battle first, got it? Let me think about that just a second, alright? Just let me, uh, think about it for like three seconds. Let me just, you know, heal up my Pokemon real quick, Marnie, and then I'm gonna come back to you. A couple of our Pokemon have been getting a little beaten down on the route, you know what I'm talking about, Marnie? So we're gonna make sure, you know, our Pokemon are back to speed. Since I know dang well you ain't gonna heal them up. You ain't no hop. You ain't no hop. Hop would have helped us out. Hop would have healed us. You know, Hop's our boy because of that exact reason. He's got our back. You know, he's actually got our back. He's looking out for number one and number two. You know what I'm talking about, guys? All right, let's go ahead and use that super potion on the Raven. And I'll get Pegasus going again. And I'm going to go ahead and put Stripes up in front so we can get ready to take on Marnie. Wonder what kind of Pokemon Marnie's gonna have on her now. Yeah, Marnie, well, you know, this time around we are with pleasure. You had a pretty good win streak in the gym challenge, just like me. I respect you as my rival and all that, but I got too much at stake to go around losing now. Here we go, guys. Rodri versus Pokemon Trainer Marnie. We are challenged by Marnie and her four Pokemon. She's gonna open things up with a lie part, so let's see what we can do here. I have stripes up in front, and it is showtime. I found a whole lot. I'm gonna beat you lot the, to the ground. Got it? Let's see what you can do, Marnie. Let's see what you can do. Because you already know what we're gonna do. Here comes the nasty plot. Okay, I see the lie part. Nasty plotting, powering itself up. You're gonna have to power yourself up. Because here comes the break, 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 any, break, 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 any. And that is super effective on the lie part. We're gonna go for one more as well, ladies and gentlemen. The live part has gone for the Sucker Punch. Which you guys know, it's not gonna be very effective on us since we are a Dark type. Here we go, once again. Break, 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 any, break, 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 any. And the live part is down, ladies and gentlemen. We are moving on to Marnie's next Pokemon. Everybody's gaining XP up in here. Magenta wants to learn Overdrive. 8100, 8100. It says the user attacks opposing Pokemon by twanging guitar or bass guitar, causing a huge echo and strong vibration. I'm gonna get rid of Flail. I actually haven't been using Flail at all, so now Magenta is gonna have a couple different electric type moves to choose from. Next up is gonna be Scrafty. So we're gonna switch it up and let's go ahead and send out Raven here against the Scrafty. If you guys have noticed too, on our team, we have about 10 different Pokemon typings. Which is wild. So we built a really good team here. We'll be able to stand up to a lot of different Pokemon teams. I'm very excited. I have to tell you guys, this has been one of the stronger teams that we've made in a while. I feel the strength of this team. I feel like we're going to be able to crush through the Elite Four, through the rest of the game. Now that we are 
fully ready. I would say that this is going to be the final team. I don't see us switching it up all that much. I really like all the Pokemon that we have. They're very strong. And they're Galar. You know, they really represent the region well. And whenever I play through a region, I like to get a bunch of Pokemon together that really do come together to represent the region. And I think we've done that quite well here. The Scrafty is down. We're moving on to Marnie's next Pokemon. Raven's going to grow to 47 as well. Next is going to be a Morpico. What can we do against the Morpico? I'm going to go ahead and send out Stripes yet again. Let's see what we can do here against the little Morpico, ladies and gentlemen. I really like the fact that Team Yell is always here for Marnie. I also told you guys, I'm like, hey, where, where are our cheerleaders? When the heck do we get some cheerleaders? Here's a special move that I've been saving for just such an occasion. What special move? The spark? Are you kidding me? That was the special move? So anyways, in the comments, you guys told me, you're like, you do have your cheerleaders. It's the Purple Banditos. And you guys are right about that. You guys are always cheering me on, so thank you so much for that. It'd be really cool if I could add in, like, little characters to root for us. Like, we could add them to the side. Maybe in the future, we'll have that as an addition. You can have some cheerleaders on the side that you make. That'd be pretty cool. And it's not something that sounds too far off now with Pokemon, considering they've added so many features. Last but not least is going to be Toxicroak. So let's wrap this battle up. We're going to send out Raven. Marnie, you've done quite good putting a team together. I have to tell you, your team's decent, but it's still not as good as Hop. It's expected of my rival. You really know how to get me riled up. You already know that's what we're here for. All right, Toxicroak is out, ladies and gentlemen. It is level 43. This battle is on its way. I'm going for the drill peck here. You can also see that I've taught Raven U-turn. So I've been changing up some things here and there. You'll be seeing all that as we go. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to gain a bunch of XP. The Rock grew to 39. Pegasus grew to 45. We defeated Pokemon Trainer Marnie. What's with that? My Pokemon didn't get a chance to really do their thing at all. Huh? We got 5280 for winning. My partner, Morpico, has been interested in you and your strength. And I think I get it now. But I've got everyone in Spike Mode supporting me. I'm definitely going to get all eight gym badges, just so I can have a rematch with you. Don't you forget! I'll get my revenge in the Champion Cup. Anyway, I promised I'd show you a way in, so follow me! Let's follow Marnie, then. We've made it to Spike Muth. Hey, what's going on over here, City of Spike Moth? Good to see you, good to see you, everybody. What's up, Nurse Joy? I gotta tell you, the music out there is nice. But the calm feeling you get when you walk inside of a Pokemon Center, there's nothing like it, Nurse Joy. There really isn't. I don't know if it's because you just make it such a homey environment. It could be that the little coffee shop over there. You know what I'm talking about, Nurse Joy? It's just a wonderful... Yeah, we, okay, okay, I got it. I'm on my way out, Nurse Joy. Jeez. Now, we're here in Spike Moth. With the shutter closed, nobody's going to be able to challenge the gym. I gotta look into this. I just happen to have too many of these, so I'll give you one. Got it? You can handle yourself, right? We got Pierre's lead card. Oi, hey, welcome to Spike Mouth, kid. Hope you're ready for the gym mission. Although, man, if you're going to take on the gym mission, you better change into your uniform. If you're looking for the gym leader, he's straight ahead from here. We're already in the gym challenge? Okay, this is not a gym challenge. Gym challenger, you want to get past me, but I don't want that. Basically, it's a battle between our desires. Here we go, Rodri versus Team Yell Grunt. So here we go again. We're going to be taking on Team Yell. Team Yell is going to send out a line noon. Are they trying to stop us from making our way to the gym? Or is this the gym challenge? Like, this could be it, right? Just a bunch of Team Yell Grunts coming at us. Maybe the gym leader here is actually a member of Team Yell. Since Spike Moth looks to be the city of Team Yell, it could be. The Lion Noon has gone down. We're going to gain some good XP. We defeated the Grunt. You and your Pokemon broke through. We got 3360 for winning. I want to let you through. That's why I was waiting all squeeze in this crack. But since I lost, it was real for nothing. Whatever you want, so I guess I'll step aside. 
Okay, thank you. Out of the way, Team Yell. Let's keep on going. They said the gym leader is going to be here at the end of this passageway. Is it this Mr. Mime? There's some kind of invisible wall. You can't get through, no matter how you try. What's this? A gym challenge you made through. All this Team Yell members have blocked the way. Don't think we'll just let you waltz through. Here we go, guys. We're going to be going up against another Team Yell grunt. Why is there a Mr. Mime blocking the path? For a second, I thought he was the gym leader. You know what I mean, guys? It could be. It could be. You never know what's going on here. Is Spike Muff. That is going to be a feeble going for the foul play. You already know who I'm going to be using. It's our Obstagoon. Told you guys I'd be using Stripes a lot more now that we have the Brick, Brick, Breakity, Brick, 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 Breakity. And it really has proved to be true here in this episode. Let's take out the Tail Slap. That does nothing. Barely. Yeah, okay, maybe it does a little something. Now, let's wrap it up. Break, 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 break. The Feeble is out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Stripes grew to 44. We defeated the Team Yell Grunt. Oh, we're able to probably reach you. We got 3360 for winning. That was totally unbelievable. We'll leave my Pokemon and all of you and your team here going through. Check out our neon signs while you're at it. Yeah, get out of here, Mr. Mime. Get out of here. They said check out the neon signs. What are these? Can we go inside of this shop? It's not even a shop. It's just telling me to keep on going. This reminds me of those old school side scrollers where you'd have to defeat a couple people and then you'd be able to move to the right. I'm yelling for no reason! That surprise you. I'm a little surprised how much my legs hurt from that landing. If I stand still like this for too long, it'll hurt so bad I might cry. So I'll shake it off with a battle. Here we go, guys. Once again, Rodri versus the Team Yell Grunt. Let's see what else you got. A Scrafty's going to be coming out. I'm having a lot of fun here, guys. I got to tell you that. Whenever we're going against Team Yell Grunts or just going through a different area in the adventure, I always have an absolute blast. So it comes up with some break, 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 Yeah, we did a lot of damage. Let's try to drop it again. Here comes the Swagger. The swagger is pretty good for us, though. I got to tell you guys that. Because if I hit the Brick Brick Breakity, this Pokemon is most likely going to go down. Let's see if you do it, Stripes. We did. Oh, wow. The Brick Brick Breakity is going to hit, and the Scrafty's out. Thanks for the power up, Scrafty. Thanks, Team Yell Grunt. You guys are really helping us out here. Helping us out more than you guys realize. Oh, no. My legs pain's back, so it's a double shock. We got 3360 for winning. Well, it's true that I lost, but I pushed through the pain, so you should praise me for that. All right, now the pain's gone. I guess I better get out of here. Let's keep side scroll, man. We got ourselves a max revive. Ooh, another shop here, as you guys can see. But the neon sign is turned off. What happened to these shops? Why is this place just completely out of sorts? There's some kind of invisible wall. We can't get through. HP of your Pokemon are looking so good. Practice that back handspring so much, even a pop star would be jealous of those moves. Will you surprise? Oh, I'd be surprised you. Well, you're not a shock. I'm going to sneakily win this battle. Here we go, guys. We're going to be jumping into another battle with another Team Yell Grunt. They're coming out of them. The cracks in the floor. I have no idea where these guys are coming from, but we're going to keep on going, and that is going to be a wee vile. Oh, mother fudger. I am having a blast here. Here comes the metal claw. And let's drop the Brick Brick Breakity, which is going to be super effective on the Weavile as well. It is really awesome that we have Stripes Evolved right before all this. This is working out really, really good. And we defeated the Team Yell Grunt. Oh, seriously, you got to be kissed over already. What? We got 34 40 for winning. I sure have been practicing my battle skills and all my backflips. Thanks for showing me that. I guess I'll cheer for you from now on. Yeah, you better get out of here, Mr. Mime. You better keep on moving that way. We're about to chase you down, Mr. Mime. I don't want to see you any other way. Whoa, look at this. Team Yell Texas Fields might be the gym challenge, but I want you to ruin our cool secret hangout. All right, time for a pincer attack. We'll do whatever it takes to win. Oh, no. I'm getting 
pinched by these guys. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am surrounded by two Team Yell Grunts and the Gym Trainer. Mm, we must be getting closer to the Gym Challenge then. Could this be the Gym Challenge? It might be. Let's go for the Brick Brick Breakity on the Live Party. Lucky for us, we also do have the Incinerate ready to go. I can't wait to get all Colossal fully caught up. I'm going to try to get Colossal to like 45, 47, around there. That's when it would be really, really good for us. The Bug Bite's going to be coming out. Oh, no, that's going to do a lot of damage. Stripes is hanging in there. The Rock. Go for the Incinerate. The Live Part is down, ladies and gentlemen. So far, so good. Now, we just got to take down the next Pokemon. The Rock grew to level 40. Let's go, The Rock. Should we go for it? I'm going to go for it. We might be faster. I'm not too sure. We're going to take a shot here. Yeah, we are faster. So we're going to drop the Brick Brick Breakity on the Drapion. And that was actually a crit. All right, here comes the Bug Bite. That is going to take down Stripes. But good work, Stripes. You've been doing a heck of a job going through this gym. So-called gym. You know what I'm saying, guys? Gym in quotes. Because I'm not even sure if this is really a gym. Gym. You know what I mean? <laughs> We're going to have to find out as we continue our way through Spike Muth. But I have a feeling these guys are just yanking our chain. There is no way they're just doing this for a gym challenge. All right, let's drop that Pyro Ball. And that is going to take down the last of Team Yell's Pokemon. The Drapion is out of here, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to gain some XP. Bugs grew to 49. Magenta grew to 45. We defeated the Team Yell Grunts. It would have been better if you just lost to us. I did lose to my Team Yell was I like beaten as a gym trainer. We got 75 68 for winning. That poor guy, he lost on both ends. But oh, whatever, our gym leader's up next. But he's really strong. Got that. I mean, everybody already knew the true identity of Team Yell, right? Means I won't get in trouble for not getting my disguise on, right? I sure hope so. Team Yell's just a couple of goofballs, ladies and gentlemen. All I see is Marnie up in front. Is Marnie the gym leader? Is Marnie the one who we're gonna have to take on? I'm starting to put two and two together. And that might be what's going on here, guys. That might just be... Let's get ready, then. Let's get ready to rumble. Show your gob. Oh, Rodri. Oh, I'm really sorry. The lot from Spike was telling me they locked down the city for my sake. Spike Mod just keeps getting worse and worse, and OPS says it's don't worry. So, so we decided to sky ourselves as Team Yellow, sabotage the other challenges. We thought if we could stop the other gym challenges from reaching the gym, then Miss Marnie would be the only one to win and make it to the Champion Cup. And we figured that increased the chances of our wonderful Miss Marnie becoming the new champion. Oh, that's no way to help someone at all. Rodri, no need to bother with all the preparations or whatever. Go on in and face the gym leader. The gym leader is waiting for us. And as you guys just heard, Team Yell was doing all this just to help out Marnie. So that Marnie could become the champion. Because she is their champion. She grew up here in their city. So why wouldn't they root for her? It's all making a lot more sense now. Let's get ready for the next battle. So you finally here, huh? See, I'm I'm really not a great gym leader. Figured that's why nobody was coming to challenge me. I have good ears, so I overheard the whole thing about the city being shut up. When I was alone, it was like my soul was weeping. This is a simple gym stadium. We can't even Dynamax our Pokemon, but well, I still hope you enjoy the battle. Now then, I'm the gym leader of Spike Moth, P.S. the dark type user. You want to challenge me even though you know you'll lose? Then this song's for you, foolish trainer. Get ready for a mosh pit with me and my party. Spike Moth, it's time to rock. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Rodri versus gym leader, P. 
Pierre. It is time to take on Pierre and his dark type Pokemon. We are here at Spike Muff, and it is time for the battle to begin. As you guys heard, we can't even Dynamax here. Everyone cheer on my Pokemon. Let's do it, Scrafty. Intimidate the opponent. Okay, Scrafty is going to hit us with the Intimidate. We're going to hit him back with the Break, Break, Breakity. Break, 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 Breakity. Here we go, baby. And that is going to do a good bit of damage to the Scrafty. Scrafty's going to do a lot more damage to us, though. Mother fudge and Scrafty. Mother fudge. Are you guys seeing that? That's A-OK. -okay. We're going to switch out to Raven here. Raven should be easily able to take down the Scrafty. Like, really, really easy. So let's go ahead and go for that Drill Peck. The Scrafty is out of here, and we're moving on to Pierre's next Pokemon. Who is Pierre going to send out now? Raven grew to 48. Malamar. We're going to keep Raven out against the Malamar. Whoa. Malamar's going to mess you all up with its contrary ability. What the heck is the contrary ability? I've never heard of that, so I'm just going to keep going for the Drill Pecs. Malamar is going to go for the foul play. That didn't do all that much, so let's stay on the offensive, guys. Feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, we got Malamar down in the red. Unless Pierre's whoops out a Hyper Potion or something, this Malamar is going down. And that's it. Raven used the Drill Pack. Malamar is out of here. We're moving on to Pierre's third Pokemon. Let's see what that third Pokemon is going to be. It's going to be an Obstagoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is showtime. Let's see what Pierre's Obstagoon can do. Level 46 as well. Time to meet another member of my crew. Face the proud high roll of my Obstagoon. I like it. I like it. Your Obstagoon is very, very cool. I'm going to open up with a Drill Peck. If we can stand up one hit, then I'm going to U-turn out. And that did a little bit. You know, we got to do a little bit of damage. Here comes the counter. Oh, no. I am U-turning out of here then, ladies and gentlemen. Here's a number I had to say for this. You lot in the stands better cheer me on. Throat chop. Ouch! Wow, the throat chop got me. Well, who would have thought that would have got me? It's time to switch out. Let's bring out Bugs. Bugs is level 49. I'm going to go for the double kick here onto the Obstagoon. Should do a lot of damage. And yes, it does. About one more double kick should do it. Here comes the throat chop once again. That does a lot of damage. That throat chop feels like it would hurt. They're a little chopping you in the throat. That would really hurt. The Obstagoon is down. We are ready for Pierre's fourth and final Pokemon. The Rock grew to 41. Pegasus grew to 46. Skuntank. We're not going to switch our Pokemon at all. I don't do Uncles. Get it? Not songs, not moves, not Pokemon. Here comes Skuntank. Let's do it then. Level 45. Everyone's going to stink, but who cares? Go Skuntank. Use your Sucker Punch and Toxic. Sucker Punch and Toxic, huh? We're going to go for the Pyro Ball. So, let's go ahead and kick that ball right into the Skuntank's face. The Skuntank barely hung in there, guys. We should have it down next turn. Good work from our Cinderace right now. Let's wrap up this battle. Bugs, go for the Pyro Ball. Skuntank is down. We defeated Gym Leader Pierre. Me and my team gave it all best. Let's meet up for a battle again sometime. We got 7360 for winning. I'm glad we were able to battle. Seems like my Pokemon feel the same way. Here's your Dark Badge. Thanks, Pierre. With that, we have obtained our 7th out of 8 badges here in the Galar region. We got one more to go. We can now catch Pokemon up to level 55. Here's a uniform too. 
I've actually been thinking about just selling them at my concerts. We got a dark uniform. My little sis Monty's gonna challenge me next, I bet. That was actually kind of sweet. So you were watching, sis. You won't learn anything from seeing me lose. I was watching your battle, bro. That's how I learned to battle and all that. That right. That reminds me, Monty, there's something I wanted to tell you. I want you to take over the gym here in Spike Month as its gym leader. Yeah, I know. You'd plan to retire after the Champion Cup, right? I think you've really become a great gym leader, even if you don't Dynamax your Pokemon. I love you, but my answer is a big fat no. I mean, when I end up becoming champion, I won't be able to be a gym leader. Good point. In that case, let your big bro see if you have the skill to be a champion. Hey, Rodri, thanks for having an amazing Pokemon battle with my brother. It's my turn next, so clear off for a bit, okay? You got it, Marnie. You seriously beat Pierre? Here, TM, remember this moment. We got TM85 Snarl. You guys hear that rumbling? Man, there's some trouble over on Route 9. It's so bad, even the champions come to sort things out. Oh, hey, you gave P.S. a trashing, didn't you? You should head over there. The help, come on, then. I'll show you the way. Rodri, thanks for coming, but I've got a handle on this. Whatever's making that noise, I'll see to it. I already told you, didn't I? Keep your eye on the goal. And for you, that's winning the gym challenge. The only gym badge left is the one you'll get from the Dragon Gym Leader, Rayhan, right? Rayhan is the only trainer out there I consider a real rival. He's that good, you know? And there I go again. Sorry, but I suppose this is no time for me to be stopping for a chat. There's a bit of trouble here with my name on it. But don't you worry about a thing. The unbeatable champion is here to look after things and keep you all safe. That came from the tunnel, wouldn't you say? Seems I'm about to have a champion time. So you guys heard it here first. Looks like Leon is going to be making his way into the Route 9 tunnel because there is some trouble happening there. So next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be continuing from here in Spike Muff. Make sure you guys leave me some tips and comments on what's coming up. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Goodbye!